Hi everybody, welcome to Intro to Accounting 1. I'm Professor Quinn, and this first part of our orientation video, I'm going to walk you through how we're going to be using Blackboard throughout the semester. And in part two of the orientation video, I'm going to walk you through our companion website called Cengage Now, and that's the website where you're going to be submitting your homework assignments and exams. So when you first log into Blackboard, you're actually going to come here to the announcements page. Um, every week at the start of the week, so on Monday, I post an announcement here with reminders of what's coming due in the upcoming week. That also gets emailed directly to your NECC email address, so please make sure you are checking that on a daily basis. The first thing that you're going to want to do is come here to the Read Me First section. And in this first section, you're going to find a lot of useful information um, and overview about our Blackboard site. Um, emails, when you're emailing me, please make sure to use the email address that is included um, in your syllabus. I've disabled the email feature in Blackboard since those emails actually don't go into my actual email. They just kind of live in Blackboard. Um, and I like to get back to my students as soon as possible. So please make sure if you need to get in touch with me to use that email address um, that's included in the syllabus. All of your grades for this semester are going to be located under the My Grades tab. So right over here on the left-hand side, um, that's where you're going to find all of your grades for every homework assignment and exam that we're going to have this semester. Under the Resources tab, um, I have some useful tools that you can use, um, things like the PowerPoint slides, um, some kind of little cheat sheets and study guides that you can use um, throughout the semester for each chapter. Under the discussion board post, there's going to be two questions that you're going to see that are available to you throughout the entire semester. And the first one is called have a question. So if you're working on an assignment and you're really stuck on something and it's late at night so you know I won't be able to get back to you right away, you can actually post your question here. Um, and maybe one of your classmates who's working on the same assignment um, can help you out and answer your question. If you are finding that you are have a chapter that's kind of coming pretty easy to you, definitely stop in here, take a look and see if there's a question that maybe you can answer for your classmates. The second discussion board post that you're going to see is called a piece of advice. Um, and this is where you can leave your best piece of advice to your classmates on how you've been able to be successful in the class. So maybe there's a certain study tool that you're using that's been really helpful to prepare you before the exams. Share that with your classmates because when we get into part two of the orientation video and we get into Cengage now, you're going to find that there are a lot of resources available, so it's very easy to forget about one. Um, so definitely let your peers know which ones are working the best for you. The next thing that you will see is that you have eight important tasks that you have to complete in order to get started in the course. So step number one is you have to watch both the orientation videos. You're going to read through the syllabus. You're going to sign and date the syllabus agreement form and submit it to me through Blackboard. That's your first grade of the homework assignment. You're going to read and print out the calendar and the homework and test schedule that are below. These are very important documents. You really need to print these out because they have all the due dates and times for every assignment and test. So it's really important to stay on track. We have a very short semester. We actually only meet six times. Um, so really making sure you stay on track becomes vital. You're then going to introduce yourself to your classmates using the discussion link below. This is also a graded assignment. You're going to complete the sca syllabus scavenger hunt quiz, and that is also a graded assignment. And you're going to click into the Cengage Now link that you're going to see on the left-hand side, and we're going to get into that in a minute. And you're going to follow the instructions given in order to access our Cengage Now course. Again, Cengage Now is a website that we're going to be using, and that is where you're submitting all of your homework assignments and exams. And then finally, you're going to complete the first three assignments in Cengage Now. So down here, you're going to find information regarding our syllabus, that homework and test schedule, and that printable calendar. So that wonderful printable calendar that you have, Again, we meet as our first class is on October 31st, and I've listed all of the assignments that are due by the start of that class, so by 5 p.m. on October 31st. And in here includes every single assignment and when it's due um, and when our classes are throughout the semester. I've also provided you with that detailed homework and test schedule. So 
I've provided you some reminders up here at the top. Please make sure to read through those so you don't forget the information. And then you'll see all of the assignments that you have this semester and tests, the date they become available to you. So you notice that they become available to you today, which is October 24th, and then the due date and where they're located. So most of your assignments are gonna be on Cengage now, except for those first few. You have a certain number of attempts that you're allowed on each assignment. And for all of your lecture assignments and homework assignments, you have to have a minimum score of a 72.5 in order to move on to the next assignment. So please be aware of that. The worst thing that you can do in this class is wait until the last minute to work on your assignments because it will not give you very much time to retake an assignment if you need to. So please be aware of that. Up here I explain all of the information regarding the prerequisite that you have to meet. You also have to get a 72.5% or better on the assignment that's listed before the exam in order to access the exam. So for example, once you have gotten a 72.5% or better on the chapter two homework assignment part two, test number one will open for you as well as the chapter three lecture assignment. You are not required to get a minimum score on each exam because you only have one attempt in which to do so. I've also provided you some reminders about what to do and not do in Cengage now. Um, so please make sure you read through this information so you know everything regarding when the correct answers become available to you for exams, um, regarding when you can actually see the correct answers for the lecture assignments. All of that information is provided here at the top. In the syllabus at the top, you'll find all of my contact information. I am at the Riverwalk campus Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Um, I'll also be at the Riverwalk campus right before the class starts, so probably a half hour before um, 4.30 um, on Wednesdays. So if you need to come in and see me, please do so. The required textbook and information is here, and I'll talk about um, Cengage Unlimited a little bit in a minute. The course description, of course. Attendance, very important. We only meet six times this entire semester. So you need to be in class. We cover an entire chapter in one session. And accounting is like learning a new language. So you really need to be in class so that you're getting the material that you need. I do, however, allow you to miss one class, which is 110 minutes worth of class time. So please be aware of this attendance policy. Emails, when you email me, please make sure you're using your Northern Essex email address so that it gets to me and it doesn't go into my spam folder if instead you're using a private email. So please make sure you do that. Cell phones and electronic devices are out of sight and out of mind while you're with me in class um, each Wednesday. If you're going to use the ebook, you are allowed to do that. It is your cheaper option but you have to have a way of bringing it with you to class every time. So whether that's a laptop or a tablet, you have to be able to bring it to you. We're gonna be using the textbook every single class. Grading, 30% of your grade is gonna be based on your Cengage Now homework assignments. Um, and again, each homework assignment, you have to get a 72.5% or better in order to move on to the next homework assignment. You have two attempts on lecture assignments and three attempts on homework assignments and the highest grade you receive on each attempt counts towards your grade in the class, but only attempts that are taken by the due date and time count towards your final grade. So if on your first attempt you get a 75, that's enough to let you move on to the next assignment, but if you take it again and on your second attempt you get a 95, the 95 will count as long as it's submitted by the due date and time. Any assignment that you submit late, meaning it was not submitted on time and you did not request an extension, you will not receive credit for that assignment. However, you will still have to complete the assignment with a minimum of a 72.5% in order to move on. You just won't get credit for that work. So staying on top of your assignments becomes vital. I allow two extensions on assignments during the semester. This does not apply to tests. There are no extensions on exams. You get two homework or lecture assignments extensions. So all you have to do in order to request a 24 hour extension is email me prior to the due date and time. 
So if you need an extension on the chapter three homework assignment part one, you have to email me before the due date and time for that assignment and you'll get a 24 hour extension. Please note that each um, extension is only good for one assignment. It's not good for an entire chapter's worth of assignments. So please use them wisely. Your tests are gonna count for 70% of your final grade. Your highest test score will count for 30%. Your middle test score will count for 25 and your lowest test grade will only count for 15%. And the due dates for each test are listed there. I do not give extra credit for this course um, because I give you 30% of your grade that you get to decide whether it's an A or an F with your homework. So take advantage of the fact that you can retake these assignments and stay on top of your assignments. Just so you know, there is a credit policy at the college. This is a three credit course, which means that on average, you are required to spend a minimum of six hours per week on this course, and that does not include the time that we spend in class. That is how we get to the value of that three credits. So you really need to budget time every week to be working on this class. If you're having trouble, please get in touch with me. We have tutors that are on both Haverhill and the Riverwalk campus. Um, you really don't wanna wait too long to come for extra help because every chapter builds on the next chapter builds on the next chapter material. So you really need to stay on top of what you're learning. Um, and if you're falling behind, get caught up as soon as possible. Once you've read through all of this information, you're gonna click here to the syllabus word um, agreement doc. You're gonna follow the directions here and upload it to me. You're gonna fill out the syllabus scavenger hunt quiz, and you're gonna introduce yourself to your classmates and respond to at least two of your classmates' introductions. The tutoring schedule for accounting is located here. We have the fall tutoring schedule, and if you can, uh, can't make tutoring in person, we also have online tutoring through the college, so you can follow the directions here to access that tutoring. So under Cengage Now, this is how you're gonna log into our other website that we will be using. Cengage is now offering something that's called Cengage Unlimited. So basically it's Netflix for textbooks. You pay one subscription price and you have access to every ebook that is published by Cengage. Um, so if you are a business major, for example, um, you might already have a subscription to Cengage Unlimited. You don't have to buy another one if you've already are using that Cengage Unlimited access right now in another course. It is your cheapest option to buy Cengage Unlimited. One semester is $119.99, one year is $179.99, and two years is $239.99. Just so you know, at the bookstore, if you were to buy just the, per the package textbook with a Cengage Now access code, it's almost $250. That $119.99 for one semester gives you everything that you need for the course. So it's definitely your cheapest option. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here, you're gonna open up this PDF and it's gonna walk you through step-by-step step of how to log into our course in Cengage Now. You're gonna click, everyone's gonna click on this link and then follow the step-by-step -step instructions that are included in that PDF. If you happen to be using Cengage Unlimited already in another business course this semester, please log into your account and then follow the steps that I've shown you in this PDF in order to access it. If you're having any difficulties with Cengage now, technical issues, please look at this information that's here at the bottom um, to see if you can troubleshoot some of those issues. If not, the phone number to access the tech support is located here for you as well. So that's the end of the first orientation video. In part two, we're gonna get into what does Cengage Now actually look like?